I grew up uh, in Trucksville, Pennsylvania. Uh, I went into the Army uh, a long time ago. Uh, after that, after my time in the Army, I became a lawyer and I worked until last December in the Harrisburg area, and now I'm fully retired. Um, why was I interested in this particular branch of Lehigh Valley? Because when I was a young boy, there was a large uh, trestle in Trucksville, and I remember, like everyone else, uh, playing on it. Uh, in fact, it was uh, kind of a rite of passage that you cross the trestle, you know, look down, you can see the, you know, the breaks between the tides, and that was kind of your rite of passage, or I don't know what you want to call it. Um, and I did that, and I often wondered, well, I wonder what this is all about, you know? Where does this railroad go? What does it do? What was it here for? And, and so over the last 30-some years, uh, I've done a lot of research into the railroad, and I developed this presentation, which is basically a trip. You're gonna take a trip from Wilkes-Barre to however far we get. Um, I wanna warn you that this can be a long presentation, and when you're tired, we'll stop, okay? That's just, just the way it'll go. They didn't give me a time limit, um, but when you're tired, we'll just cut it off. Um, um, the Bowman's Creek Branch of the Lehigh Valley Railroad ran from Wilkes-Barre here, up through Trucksville again where I grew up, on to Dallas, on to Alderson, Harvey's Lake, it went under the actual roller coaster in Harvey's Lake. Does everybody remember that? Okay, you're gonna see a picture if you don't remember. Um, on to Knoxon, and then further up uh, through Mountain Springs, Ricketts. The Bowman Street branch technically ended in Burnett, uh, and that's where it connected with another Lehigh Valley subsidiary, the uh, state line and Sullivan branch, uh, which then went on to Toronto. And I'm sorry, the top part is cut off. But screen is only so big, so we'll just have to deal with what it is. Um, this is basically an 1896 topography map of the Bowman's Creek Branch, and what I use to show people is this, this is Glen Summit, does everybody know where that is? It's uh, above on the mountain, leaving, leaving Wilkes-Barre. And Opperman's Pass on the Bowman's Creek Branch was actually higher than Glen Summit. Uh, on the railroad. And that caused numerous operational problems uh, for the railroad because obviously you had a tremendous downgrade. And in the area, in the era of steam locomotives, you had to really apply a lot of what they call brake uh, to get down uh, from Ominous Pass uh, down to Knox. Now, this is a very early advertising brochure and like all advertising brochures from the 19th century is kind of exaggerated. Uh, what this shows here is Picnic Grove and Harvey's Lake. It's a railroad bill. It shows Harvey's Lake. This actually is supposed to represent the trestle in Trucksville that I told you about and this was a station at Harvey's Lake that supposedly was there but I've never found any real pictures of such a building. But again, this is an advertising brochure from the late 1880s. Why was the Bowman's Creek Branch the Lehigh Valley built? There were a lot of different things that the railroad served, but the main reason the railroad was there were timber. The mining industry in the Wyoming Valley was a voracious uh, consumer of timber. And did that the whole reason that the branch was there? Yes, it later served to carry ice, it later served to carry passengers, it later served to carry mail, uh, a lot of things, but it was built get at 40,000 acres of timber beyond Harvey's Lake that the Lehigh Valley Railroad took an interest in shortly after the Civil War. This is what was called the Union Station in Wilkes-Barre, or the Lehigh Valley Station, again, part of cut off. Uh, it was known as a red brick Victoria Heat. Um, very large station. The uh, downstairs was obviously a restaurant passenger areas, baggage areas. Upstairs were the dispatchers for the railroad and the offices for the Wyoming Division of the Lehigh Valley Grand Schedule Board here, which would have the schedules for the Bowman Creek Branch of the Railroad. You have to excuse this clicker, it's kind of sensitive on me. Uh, this shows 
the schedule board, and here we have the, the trains on the Bowman's Creek Branch, 505, which went west, uh, 504, which came east, and their arrival time. I'm sorry, this is about the best that I can do with getting it from the, uh, from the original picture. I showed this schedule only to show that in 1893, the Reading Railroad took over the Lehigh Valley Railroad. The president of the Reading Railroad was trying to create an anthracite.